Okay, hi guys, this is McQueen Battle. I'm here at the site of the 2021 Boston Marathon here off of Copley, Boston, off of Copley Square here and um, Boston, Massachusetts. This is the third time that the event has been canceled. So I'm pretty much, I gave everybody a little dress rehearsal for the event anyway. Right now, today, there's of about maybe five to 6,000 people here in downtown Boston. It is a very big, huge event. Um, and there's about young people here. Everybody's dressed in athletic gear. Nobody has changed up. Pretty much everybody's set and ready for tomorrow's event. They do have their runner sneakers on as well as people are out and about having a good time. So I'm very happy to be here today. Um, I've already reported a couple things to the MBTA, MBTA as well as to Boston 301 about some public safety issues um, and then going on here with the marathon as well as the facilities. They're hoping to have clean facilities too as well. So everybody is not yet ready in their runner shoes. Everybody pretty much has on casual shoes, casual, casual wear as well as jeans. So I hope I'm not scaring people too much. <laughs> so everybody has on pretty much jeans and casual wear. Nobody is in a runner's shoes yet. So it's kind of a little bit scary, but you have to do what you can. I'm just an earring. Anyway, so this is Queen Battle. I thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Please continue to support me. We'll battle first aid responder services. Like I said right now, today, there is over about here. There is, hi, Miss Finn. <laughs> There is about 5,000 people here at the event here at 2021 Boston Marathon. People are like, the queen is crazy because I am a little crazy. Here's Boston PD. <laughs> so Boston PD is walking everywhere. <laughs> so people are out and about here at Copley Square. Uh, some runners are in their athletic gear. Okay, people are in their sandals and regular casual shoes, casual shoes. Okay, here. Pretty, pretty much getting ready, of course, in their sandals because they are tired and exhausted. So they're not ready yet in runner shoes. But <laughs> here at the uh, 2021 Boston Marathon event, People are getting ready. These are professionals. <laughs> so, <laughs> so everybody is getting ready. It's still very, very nice. Not a lot of running shoes, but pretty much people are kind of out and about. Getting very nice. Okay. So I'm very, very happy to be here today. Okay, I already wrote a couple stuff to the MDTA as well as to Boston 301 tomorrow. Tomorrow, the bus drivers MBTA is having a union meeting at the facility. I'm sorry. Tomorrow, the MBTA is having a bus drivers union meeting here at the teachers building on um, uh, Tuesday at five o'clock. So, right now, there's over about five, about maybe five thousand people here in downtown Boston today off of Copley Square. Everybody's ready for the event. Most, if not, these are a whole bunch of families, a lot of young kids and babies. I already see some babies, which is good. Um, you are having a good time. <laughs> so, like I said before, they did get this started in less than 48 hours. So they got this set up in four days. Hi. So they got this set up in four in four days. Okay. This event should have already have been taking place in less than three days okay but they finally got it set up there's a couple of configurations they're still doing construction issues this has already been facilitated you work with professional runners that need these guardrails okay they need these guardrails so there's guardrails all around the, the running the running rail okay i'm not a professional runner so i don't know but families are still here everybody's having a good time I'm about to go and take care of my business, and like I said before, I've already reported a couple things to the MBTA as well as to Boston Police. A whole bunch of officials I've sent the emails out because I'm a regular, I'm a citizen of Boston. It concerns me, and I love being involved and being active in the community. And like I said before, any little bit, any little bit of thing I could do to help, I will be a need. Like being a need, that's what I do. So, here come runners. Hi, you guys look great. You look in shape. Are those your shoes for tomorrow? Nope. nope. <laughs> Let me see those shoes. I need these to walk around in. <laughs>
Let me see those shoes. I'm running alpha flies. How are you doing? <laughs> good, Where good, you nice. From? I am from um, New York and Texas. Oh, yeah? Texas. Uh, how, yeah, and and what, is, what is your name? My name's John Duffy. First oh. uh, time running. And where are you from? Uh, Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, okay. Okay, I know Buffalo. <laughs> is this your first race today? My first race. Uh, oh, this year. 54 years old. No, ever. Okay, good. And, um, my second marathon. I got diagnosed with MS 15 years ago. I'm sorry? I got diagnosed with MS 15 years ago. By MS? MS, multiple sclerosis. Oh, you look good. You're healthy. Yeah. And is this, your, is this your friend? My brother. Your brother? Hi, brother. Hi. Oh, I got two cuties. And you're from Buffalo, too? Well, originally. I okay. live in New Hampshire. You Hampshire? Good. Well, you got your survivor. Survivor. Congratulations. Yeah, Welcome quit. to the marathon. This is the third time this year. They're still trying to set up a lot of stuff. So, I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy, but, you know, because of COVID, so. <laughs> it's so awesome. I mean, you did such a great job. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And for me, it's like a life changer for me. It's mm -hmm. like something out, one, once in a lifetime for me. Okay, good. Well, yeah. thank you. Welcome. Hope you have a safe, safe um, uh, event tomorrow. Yeah. And, and, you know, do a lot of stretching. Get hydrated and do what you can. Yep. Okay? Thanks. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, my name's Lequeen Battle. I do first aid. Check me out. Okay, bye. So that's great. I had a great, great time. I'm missing one earring. So anyway, about 5,000 people are here for today's event. This is a big event. They have only got it set up in less than 48 hours. So the city is pretty much trying to do what it can to facilitate a lot of runners. The Queen is crazy. I already know that. Um, anyway, so like I said before, there's about five to 7,000 people here today at this event. This is one of the biggest events of the world here in the city of Boston. I'm very much happy to be here today and help to, you know, do what I can while I So anyway, helping to facilitate uh, the event and do what I can as best necessary. So anyway, <laughs> Boston PD is here as well as uh, fire departments all around the world are here to celebrate the city of Boston as well as to celebrate every year return from COVID-19 and to do what we can do to help get the city back together and help improve the economy. So I'm Mr. Erin. Anyway, this is Boston Marathon 2020, Boston Marathon here in the city of Boston at Copley Square Plaza. I'm missing the area, but it's okay. Okay, so um, I'm fat, but I'm not way out of shape for tomorrow's event, but I maybe do a 5K, I don't know. So you guys take care. Again, I already reported some things to the MBTA as well as to the city. Uh, Mayor Kim Janey, Governor Charlie Baker, everybody in New York, my New York family for, for running, hopefully, this will be a safe and successful event tomorrow. They gave a dress rehearsal for everybody. It was crazy. So hopefully tomorrow will be a safe and successful event. Okay, like I said before, I already reported to the MBTA, especially I've already been to, Cop to the Arlington Station twice because of the derailment that happened at Arlington MBTA Green Line Station, okay, um, two weeks ago. So again, I've already reported some things to cleaning, some cleaning issues in the transit facilities as well as to um to a couple other people here um just getting everything set up they got the stage set up okay which is great okay good you got families and runners here from all over the world i already have met some people from australia and london okay and i've met some new york people so very happy to be here today okay again this is one of the biggest events in the world the boston marathon is one of the biggest events in the world outside of the Tour de France and the London Marathon, the New York Marathon. So this is great. You see runners, people here from all around the world. Families got it together. There wasn't a 5K event. They usually events all month, okay? We usually events all month. But again, a city of Boston cannot do it by itself. So we're very happy to all our first responders and our military people out there currently serving here in the United States and abroad. Come out here, support the city of Boston and its marathon event continue to do what we can do to provide public safety and services. Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> good, how are you? good, good. <laughs> Helping to facilitate everything in a safe and orderly manner for tomorrow. Professional, safe and orderly manner for tomorrow's events. Okay, like I said before, this is the 200, 2020 Boston Marathon here. Okay, here's the finish line. The start line on the finish line. You see people Oh so anyway, this is one of the biggest events here, the 121st, 125th Boston Marathon. Outside of, uh, due to the pandemic, the city is still trying to do as much as best as it can, okay? But we can do as much as we can to facilitate, again, 
public safety, COVID-19, and again, getting people healthy and active back from the economy, okay? So, I'm very happy to be here today. I just had three and I have one. <laughs> people hear the baby. Okay, so, very happy to be here. Runners, okay, I see some bibs, I see some bibs. Okay, so now our runners, I don't see runner shoes. Let me, let me show you guys, let's get a shoe cam. Let's get a shoe cam. Shoe cam, shoe cam. How you doing? Okay, shoe cam, shoe cam. How you doing? <laughs> shoe cam, are those for tomorrow? What, the shoes? Uh, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Are those for tomorrow? Are those your shoes for tomorrow? No. Are you zapatos para la mañana? No. No? <laughs> Hi, are these for tomorrow? Yes, they good, are. Good, good. Yeah. How long have you had them? I have, oh, uh, my shoes? Yes. Oh, like five weeks. Good. Yeah. Okay, well, congratulations. Good luck. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Are these for tomorrow? Oh, uh, these are not. No. Okay, which ones are you wearing tomorrow? I got some Nikes on for tomorrow. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good, these are just good. The, the Allbirds, the comfy. Okay, that's good. That's, what, that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Good. How you doing? This is shoe camp. Some shoe camp. Are these for tomorrow? Are, you, are these for tomorrow? Oh, no, no, no. No, which ones are you wearing tomorrow? Oh, I'm not running. Oh, running. I'm running. Oh, are these for tomorrow? No, they are not. Which ones are you wearing? I'm wearing the Nike Vaporfly. Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, so again, this is Queen Crazy Battle. <laughs> Happy to be here at the 125th Boston Marathon here in downtown Boston. Very happy to meet some regular people, citizens of Boston, do what we can here. Again, public safety as well as terrorism is a very, very important issue, important matter. So we've got to abide by all rules of the law as well as be safe for you and your family during this season, during this time of season for COVID as well as for everything else okay again take care of your mental health as well as your physical health and do what is best for you and your family like i said before continue to get covid tested as well as hiv tested the rates of hiv have risen since the covid pandemic and we could do what's best for us and our families as well okay so again i'm here at the 125th boston marathon here in, in the city of boston okay Families here are from all around the world, and you and they look at me crazy because I'm already no crazy. Okay. So, um, we can do what's best. Again, public safety is a really big issue and a big matter, okay? Like I said before, contact your local city and government officials if you have any questions regarding the pandemic or going to big events like these. Again, this is Boston Marathon. It's one of the biggest events from all around the world, okay? We can do what we can do to help facilitate events as well as continue to be involved and active in your community, okay? All right, I love it. Hey, Bob. Hey, Joni. Hey, Ben. Hey, Mesfin. Okay, I got to get, I have a gig today, okay? So, guys, please continue to keep me your thoughts and prayers here. This is sponsored by the Boston Athletic Association as well as a couple people here. Shout out to John Hancock and the corporation as well as to Adidas. Adidas, a whole bunch of corporate sponsors to sponsor this event what they put on today. NBC too has with NBC Sports Network. The guys are right there. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy to be here today. Hoping to help facilitate a very easy and nice event. It's open to the public. But you do have to be a registered runner to participate in tomorrow's event, okay? So again, here at the starting line, the finish line, to the start less than 20 hours, five, 20 hours until tomorrow's event. One of the biggest events in the world here, okay? Less than 20 hours, 20 hours until tomorrow's Boston Marathon event here, here, okay? On the East Coast, shout out to all my families and friends, okay? And she's currently serving here. All the military troops currently serving here and abroad. Very happy to be here today. I'll show this to all my Facebook groups as well as all my LinkedIn family and friends, okay? I love you guys. I continue to support the mission of COVID-19 awareness as well as public safety issues, okay? Public safety is a very big issue, especially dealing with the Boston, uh, the Marathon Terrace event that happened just over about five, 10 years ago. We continue to support public safety as well as awareness during events like these, okay? Please be safe, protect you and your families, and do what's best for you and your families as well, okay? So this is LaQueen. I'm first aid, certified medical assistant, certified adult pediatric first aid, COVID-19 awareness, public safety, community health, all of that, okay? I'm a little crazy at times. I don't have a set schedule, but whatever I can do, if I can be a need to anybody, I will try to be a need, okay? 
Oh, I love you guys. This is a beautiful event right now today here on Sunday. Over about five to ten thousand people here in downtown Boston to the ground. See the people here at the starting line. It's a beautiful day. It is beautiful. And they were they were shouting out Cuomo early. I think Governor Andrew Cuomo was here, which is great. Governor Andrew Cuomo was here, so again, very happy to be here. To be here from all around the world. I'll take a couple of pictures too. And then the facilities management is here too. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut them, take a couple of pictures here. Corporate sponsors, there's NBC Sports Network right there. TV media, TV media, media crew from all around the world. Uh, CBS, WBZ is here as well as all, all media officials here in the city. I've already contacted Sports Illustrated as well as contacted a couple other officials too to get them involved and active in tomorrow. Night. I have this one in this so crazy. So anyway, please guys continue to be encouraged, protect you and your family, your loved ones. Tomorrow is one of the biggest events in the world, if not here in the city of Boston. We try to do what's best for us and our family. <laughs> So it's tomorrow's a big event, but we can do what's best for us, okay? Okay, so I'm very happy to be here and again, help to facilitate this one of the events. Here is, I'm at the start and the finish line for tomorrow's event. They already had it both virtual as well as here in person, okay? Tomorrow is the in-person event. They've had virtual, virtual events all for the rest of the month, okay? But again, if you want to contact the Boston Athletic Association, you can reach them at baa.org. Okay, to contact the Boston Athletic Association at baa.org. Okay, they give you all the information from there. Okay, all right. So anyway, runners here too, as well. People here, family, friends, and associates, all of that stuff. Okay, you still have to continue to do what you can do to increase awareness of the COVID-19 pandemic. So everybody's pretty much wearing mandatory face masks inside business facilities, but outside of business facilities and a regular general public. Nobody is wearing a face mask because if in order to run, you need great oxygen as well as to keep hydrated, okay? So people here having a good time. There's a lot of things going on politically as well as just in the community. Continue to be aware, informed about what's going on in you and your community and take care, okay? Protect you and your loved ones. Get vaccinated as well as do what is best for you and your family during this time of trans transition as well as going on into the 2021 holiday season. Okay, going on into the 2021 holiday season. Okay, so how is that approaching? Right now we're at one of the biggest events in the world, the 2021 Boston Marathon, okay? We can do what's best for our family and our friends and our loved ones, okay, at the same time. Okay, so this is the Korean Battle. I love you guys. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and your prayers as well, okay? People here from all around the world, and hopefully I'm gonna take a couple pictures friends and families people like that at 2 as well because I'm a little shy <laughs> okay guys again tomorrow is 125th Boston Marathon here in the city okay so off of Copley Square Plaza is the starting line here off of Copley Square okay so people here like I said before today is Sunday October the 10th right now here in the city is over 5,000 people here literally at this site okay again the transit authorities is where boss police is here as well as fire departments here officials from all around the world are here too as well as media people get out there be informed and take care of what's best for you and your family and your loved ones during this season of, of giving happy holidays family friends and friends happy friends from all around the world okay i love you guys this is queen battle battle first aid responder services incorporated get tested get vaccinated and hiv is, is also very important know your status as well i love you guys have a safe and have healthy holiday season Bye.